Welcome to the Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show, where we make plant-based cooking easy. I'm Jill, and today we are making vegan omelets. So, a vegan omelet. Who would have guessed that you could make an omelet without eggs? But we're going to do exactly that today. And this recipe was a request from our supporting members. Uh, they voted on what recipe I would come up with next, and this is it. So we're just going to get started. Um, this really lends itself to whatever vegetable you like. We happen to like really like mushrooms and spinach and red peppers, so that's what we're using today, and onions. So we have uh, one box of mushrooms, an eight ounce box of mushrooms, an eight ounce package of, this is just frozen spinach, because frozen spinach is always available. Uh, one cup worth of, I just have some mixed uh, bell peppers here. You can use red pepper, green pepper, whatever you like. And then I have some rehydrated onions here because of the onion recall. We haven't had onions in our house for a while, so I just used some minced dry onion and I reconstituted it just by soaking it in some hot water. And that's what we're gonna do. So, I'm just gonna get that started cooking here. So that's about one onion worth. And it's even better if you can use a red onion. I feel like those just have a nicer flavor. And then we're just gonna cook all of those mushrooms. And this takes a good, you know, five to 10 minutes or so. You wanna sweat these mushrooms down until all of that moisture comes out. So we're gonna get them about halfway there before we put in our other ingredients because we want all of that moisture to cook out first. Okay, so our mushrooms are just about there. You see this? And if you noticed, I'm not cooking with oil. You don't need to saute your vegetables in oil. All you need is just a little bit of water. So if the vegetables start to stick a little bit, sprinkle a little bit of water in there and it comes right off. Then you don't have all that ad added extra fat. So now we're gonna add our red pepper. and our spinach. And I'm gonna leave these until we actually assemble the, or when we cook it with the batter, because you want these to stay, you know, this is chives and tomatoes. You want them to stay a little bit more fresh. So we're gonna cook this down for, you know, about five minutes or so, and then we'll assemble the batter. While we're waiting for that, I'd like to share with you some background on our show. The Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show is a crowdfunded show, which means our content is made possible by the generous patronage of our paid membership community, who share our common goal to teach the world how to easily and permanently switch to a plant-based diet. My husband and I create these free weekly cooking shows to share all of the delicious recipes that we use every day in our own family kitchen. Our recipes are now used by hundreds of thousands of viewers every month from all over the world. Our paid memberships offer additional perks like access to our eBooks and in-depth courses, including our 28 Days Plant-Based Made Easy course, where we offer a step-by-step -step guide to making the switch to a fully plant-based diet. With meal plans, shopping guides, daily learning materials, and over 65 of our favorite recipes. If you love our content and find it's helping you to live your best plant-based life, please join us on our mission to share this life-changing message with the world and become a supporting member today by following the link in the description. It is the continued growth of our supporting member community that makes this show possible. Okay, let's get back to the show. Okay, so now that our vegetables are thoroughly cooked here, we're just gonna set them aside and we're gonna make our batter. And the base of this batter is chickpea flour. So I ground my own, this is just dried chickpeas that are ground up, and I have a really powerful blender so I can make the flour, but you can also buy it from the store already ground up. So this is one and a half cups of chickpea flour. And then what I have here, I've got a half teaspoon of turmeric, a half teaspoon of onion powder, a half teaspoon of baking powder, half teaspoon of pepper, and then two teaspoons of nutritional yeast. And 
And then I have one and a half cups of soy milk, but you can use any plant milk that you choose, any one that you prefer. So we're just gonna pour that in there. And then two teaspoons of white wine vinegar, or you could use apple cider vinegar, that works too. That's gonna make it a little bit fluffy. And then one tablespoon of Bragg's liquid aminos. But you could use a low sodium soy sauce or tamari or just a little bit of salt. So now you're just gonna whisk this up and it's gonna get smooth like, kind of like pancake batter. Maybe not quite as thick as pancake batter. So if you can see that, it's really nice and smooth. And that's it, that's so easy, really quick. So I've got my griddle here. Um, this is a nonstick ceramic griddle. Um, and I've got it heated to 400, about, well, 375, somewhere around there. And you wanna make sure that this is really hot first or else your stuff is gonna stick. So kind of the key to this is that you wanna pour it on. We'll sprinkle our vegetables on. And then you leave, let it sit, don't mess with it because it's gonna stick. And once it's really cooked on the bottom, it'll be easier for you to, to uh, get off of that griddle. So cross your fingers. All right, so we're just gonna, this will make about, about four, three to four, pretty decent sized omelets. Just gonna put it on there. We're just gonna do one at a time to start. I'm gonna spread it out, you know, pretty thin. And then we're gonna sprinkle some of our vegetables on it. And you can sprinkle it on the whole thing because you're just gonna fold it over. We're not flipping these over. So I'm gonna just sprinkle a little bit all over the whole thing. Get it all the way out to the edge here. Okay. We're just gonna watch that one while I get another one going. And with these, you know, it's not quite like a pancake. You're gonna wait a little bit longer and it's gonna feel like you've waited too long or that you're gonna burn it. But even if it gets a little bit brown, it's okay. It's not gonna, it's not gonna be burned. But if you try to scoop that thing up too soon, it's gonna be a mess. It's gonna be a sticky mess. on there. A little bit more. Okay, so if you come in a little bit closer, you can kind of see how it's getting, it looks kind of dry here, but there's still some oozing in the middle, which is okay. Then that's ready. See how this is coming up? And we're just gonna fold it over because look at that, how beautiful is that, golden. So you're just gonna let it sit there just for a couple more minutes. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna allow the heat from this to seal or to steam the rest of the batter from the inside so you don't have to flip it over. So this one's getting real close. You gotta be patient. I don't wanna be patient right now. I just wanna flip it over and dig in, right? Okay, there we go. That looks about right. Okay, fold it over. Oh, look at that, beautiful. Okay, now I'm gonna grab a plate and I'm going to put these on and do the other two. 
And then I'm going to show you how to make a delicious cream sauce that we're going to pour over the top. Okay guys, while these two are finishing cooking, I'm going to show you how to make a super easy cream sauce to drizzle over the top of your omelet. So I just have a half a cup of water, quarter of a cup of cashews, now these are raw unsalted cashews, the juice of half of a lemon, half a teaspoon of onion powder, and one tablespoon of nutritional yeast. And then one teaspoon of Bragg's, just for a little saltiness. And then we're just gonna blend this up until it's really super, super creamy and there's no more cashew chunks. So when that's done, I'm gonna get a plate and plate one of these up and take it to the table and I'll meet you over there. Okay, time for the tasting. So like I told you before, I've got my chives and my tomatoes that happen to be from my garden, which I can't wait to dig into. Sprinkle some chives on there, some tomatoes, and some of this delicious cream sauce. And just a tip on the cream sauce, it's probably best to make this first before you make all of your other things because it really needs to sit for a little bit so that it, it can thicken. Right now it's a little bit watery, but that's okay. It still tastes delicious. I'll pour a little bit of that on there. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. That is good. This would be so perfect for a really special, like a weekend breakfast or brunch, you know, or taking your loved one breakfast in bed. This would be just so beautiful and it is so delicious and so good for you. Mm. You are going to love it. Mm. So be sure to like this video, guys, and I'll see you next time.